Hi everyone, I'm Fiona and I'm your host for this episode of Eco Bites, an online series brought to you by the Sustainable Singapore Gallery. For those who have not been to the gallery, it's an interactive gallery located at level 2 of Marina Barrage. It shows an overview of Singapore's sustainability journey throughout the years and it is divided into six different zones. So in each zone, you'll be shown the different aspects of Singapore's sustainable development. From hosting various sustainability team events to school programs and exhibitions, there is definitely something for everyone. So to find out more, head over to the gallery and we look forward to seeing you there. In our EcoBite series, we'll be featuring different guests and covering various sustainability team topics. And not only that, we'll be having giveaway at this end of the episode. So stay tuned to find out how you can enter and win yourself a very special prize. So to recap, in episode one, we shared about an, uh, sustainability app and learn more, and we also learn about clean, sustainable beauty, as well as how individuals can turn their food waste and reduce their food waste by turning them into DIY, DIY skincare products. So in episode two today, watch your fight. We'll be delving in into sustainable type diets, specifically plant-based diets. So what is a plant-based diet? As the name suggests, a plant-based diet is uh, consists of mainly vegetables, plants, is minimally processed, and uh, um, avoids animal products such as milk and meat. And if you do not know already, there are many benefits to a plant-based diet. So for instance, uh, it has a lower environmental impact because it is less resource intensive, so you will see that our, our plant based diet would be less, uh, it would take a less toll on our environment as compared to a meat based one. And not only that, a um, plant based diet is beneficial for our health as well because it contains the nutrients our body needs to, um, let's say, combat diseases such as heart diseases and diabetes. And, not, and also, based on the research done by the University of Michigan, do you know that a beef, that's so much, one serving of beef, contains 3 kg of carbon dioxide as compared to a single serving of carrot that contains 0.03 kg of carbon dioxide? It shows that the beef we consume has a much bigger environmental impact as compared to, let's say, the carrot. So this is why um, a plant-based diet is uh, usually more uh, beneficial for the environment as compared to a meat based one. People around us in Singapore are becoming increasingly more aware of um, how their diet affects the environment. So for instance, uh, Kita Asia has announced Singapore to be the second most vegan friend in the world, and this is right behind Taiwan. And this is no surprise because there are many various uh, sustainability uh, dining options available for our public. So this is why a lot of us has actually jumped the bandwagon and choose a more plant-based diet uh, rather than a meat-based one. But even though so, there are many myths surrounding um, this whole plant-based diet. So for instance, does a plant-based diet provide us with enough nutrients that our body needs? Hmm. So that's a question that a lot of people have. So this is one of the many questions that we'll be covering today uh, with our very special guest. Jason from Awesome Food. So hi Jason, thank uh, you so much for joining us today. So from what I know, you have started Awesome Food, uh, I mean you have been doing a lot of uh, therapeutic food research in the last couple of years and Awesome Food just started um, I think in July this year, right? So could you share more with us about uh, what is Awesome Food all about and um, what a plant based diet is? Okay. Uh, first. Thank you, Ecobytes, for having uh, Lucy Food uh, coming on board to uh, talk about our food and share as much as what we can do to help our planet. Um, we also Food uh, started just, like we say, a month back in July. Um, we are probably the first nutritional focus uh, plant based food that, uh, in the market that I know of uh, that uh, grown out uh, across the, 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 the with an important thought that we wanted to help to improve and sustainable uh, and protecting our planet. So um, our background has always been therapeutic food. Um, mm -hmm. 
we started probably we 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 have been doing it for at least uh, eight years plus now in R and D. Yes. Um, we but our fundamental has always been therapeutic food. We customize food um, to individual um, to help them resolve their health issue. Um, I would say last time when we have a clinic, uh, individuals who have cancer who have uh, all sorts of patients that come to us. Um, what we do is we screen them for the nutritional uh, deficits, uh, de de deficiency in their body. And from there, we, we then curate a specialized uh, food for them. So, um, I mean, through the seven years of R&D, we realized that the market probably won't understand what we're trying to do. Huh? It's going to be very specialized. Yeah. So, so anyway, uh, we, we talk, um, after what we have done, we realized the market wasn't ready for what we are trying to do. Um, then we, we, we wanted to create a simple product that uh, can help individuals to, re, to resolve their problems that uh, as simple as ABC. Uh, and that's how Ocean Food uh, was born. Uh, and, and that's uh, in, in line with what we wanted to do. So, so uh, let me say that uh, Ocean Food basically uh, focuses on unity purposes. Um, I would say six of our fish balls uh, probably constitute to the daily immunity uh, uh, nutrition that we probably need. So we try to make it as simple. We pack the nutrients into this fish ball and fish cake. It so happened that we are, I, we, we go in the line of the fish ball because it's a staple product. We wanted to go into the market because uh, as, as probably most of y'all who have known on Impossible Food, uh, yeah. Beyond Me, etc. And uh, they have always been in the Western uh, taste bar. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to create something that is more for Asian, uh, something is a daily uh, product that we need. And when we talk about fish ball, I don't know whether the, the, the uh, consumer understands that they are, we're actually consuming 1.5 million of fish ball every day. Every day? Every single day. So, so it's a huge, huge, uh, huge amount. And, and because in that line, uh, and, and that's how why we chose fish balls and fish cake. Hopefully, we can be replacing what part of uh, part of the, the staple diet that they daily usually do. Uh, from there, uh, have a consideration for their health uh, because we are probably very nutritional focused. Mm -hmm. As as like I said last time, we curate a meal which is very uh, complicated for people to understand. They do not understand. They do not. They, they don't understand how much time it is to make a therapeutic food. Um, when, when we had our restaurant in Parliamentazon, we, we took three days to put any food on the table. So, uh, and yet it is very hard to fulfill the, the unique taste bud of Singaporean, which most of them are very local based. We, we have this uh, local uh, <laughs> Flair that cannot be removed, right? We like our takwe tiao, we like our very local food. And, and that's how we decided that, okay, we want to make something that can be placed in your daily life, yet you can place flavor easily into this food without, without uh, worrying your, your, your health part, and yet you can take in the amount of immunity that your body needs. And that's where it comes from. So I would say that um, often food fish balls, so only your fish balls gives up enough nutrients uh, for the daily immunity. So not just any fish ball, but your fish ball, right? Yes, uh, of course, the, I'm, I'm not against fish ball, I love fish ball. <laughs> uh, uh, but many people doesn't understand how fish ball was made and the impact to our, uh, our environment. Um, the amount of uh, uh, fuel, the, the carbon footprint, and in a fish, we are talking about maybe you're utilizing only 60% usage. And there's quite a lot of uh, food wastage. So along the line, we decided to create our fish ball. Like I said, it's in a form of fish ball and fish cake. Um, not because in, in, for any specific reason, but uh, we thought it is a staple product. Like I say, 1.5 million fish ball a day, right? That's quite a, a huge number. So from there, we hope to introduce our fish ball and fish cake in a manner that we can have fun, uh, yet 
uh, with, with a very focused nutritional focus on mind that you can boost the immunity in light of today's COVID uh, situation. And everybody has a bit concern, right, about uh, this, uh, what will become and whether the second phase of mutation, third phase of mutation, what is going to happen? We, we, we think that if I can create a product that can help you easily take six, six of our fish ball and you know that it has already sufficed the day of your daily immunity, that would be the most simplest way to take care of our health. And yet, uh, it's something that you're familiar with. And that's uh, what frozen fish uh, under frozen fruit is trying to achieve. So, um, from what Jason has shared, so it's very apparent that um, <clears throat> frozen food uh, could be because of uh, very healthy nutritional Sunday food because you guys have not used any fish, so no animal product, and it's so healthy and and like it sounds so good. So, um, just think, mm -hmm. curious. How do you think um, autumn food plays a role in the environmental sustainability? Okay. So, like you shared about making more the food and. Yeah. I, I think, uh, of course, mm -hmm. when we first started our company, our our focus has always been nutritional focus, right? Mm -hmm. And and as we all know, uh, in fact, most of our customers know that meat has a lot of contamination. Uh, meat has carcinogens, uh, especially red meat and white meat. We are talking about a lot of hormones. Mm -hmm. So, from a therapeutic angle, it is almost impossible for us to use such food into curating into a therapeutic food for our cancer patient, for our patient, or for any. Uh, health conscious individuals. So, so from there, uh, in, in light of the therapeutic angle, uh, and we wanted to create a product in three main categories that we wanted to fulfill. One is, of course, our love for our planet. We have seen a lot, a lot of changes. People who are snowboarders like me find it so hard to find powder snow. People who are talking about uh, loving the sea you understand how the marine eco have changed. And, and in 30 years, there's virtually no more seafood. And if we are worried about the next generation, somebody going to do a job. Somebody going to do something. And, um, and everyone should do their little bit to help protect, delay, buy time for the marine eco um, to, yeah, to, to have more time, right? So, so apart from this, of course, it's also, our vision also embraces our love for animals. We think that animals are cute. They are, yeah. they are, they are they very are. cute. So we, we, want to, we want to help the animal activists to tell them that we have our love for our animals. Huh? So that, that's another angle we're looking at. Of course, what we still fundamentally do is really still talking about nutrition. Yeah. Yeah. So, so when we talk about nutrition, we also talk about sustain sustainability. Why do we talk about healthy sustainability? Because there are certain food that are not sustainable. That you cannot daily, you cannot eat it daily because it's harmful, right? Nobody will, nobody, nobody will tell you stop eating vegetables, right? Right? Because it's sustainable, and and it's the same way how we wanted our food to go along that it can can embrace these three specific areas um, to, to do our part. It's not just about our, our product, but it's also about our little help and, and like what EcoBikes is trying to do. Uh, we, we want to do as much as we could. Um, we do a little bit further on that by our packaging methods. We, we adopt all sorts of uh, eco, recyclable, and we promote people to use our uh, Toki bags, you know, we want, we, we give them our bags so that they can go to NPUC to, to do groceries without using the plastic bags. And plastic bags is a big issue in the marine eco, as everybody knows. Right? So when the yeah. fish eats the plastic, we eat the fish, it has already propagated down into our food chain, right? Yeah. So this is a big issue. Uh, a lot of people have not been faced with it uh, really. Upfront, right? We can yeah. see the impact is not like immediate. So, so that's uh, where we, we hope to do our little part um, in promoting the system. So, I really agree with what Jason said. So, he mentioned how uh, you know, it's very happening to hear his love for the animals and our planet. So, like what you say, right? 
the whole thing about fishing. So um, the world is currently facing an overfishing situation where fishes are fish more than they can uh, produce. That is, it, it's harming the biodiversity of our ocean. So um, from what I know, like uh, overfishing has led to um their uh the declining of fishes. So their environment is so greatly damaged that we, like you say, we might not see seafood in the next two or three decades. And no more fish ball, that's quite sad. But um, I mean, it's very, um, it's really an interesting concept and so um, good to see that um, people like you are coming up with, you know, like awesome fish where you can actually have fish ball without a fish. And it's even more healthy from what you share. So that's really something that I'm sure not many of us know about. And most importantly, plant based. And it's so much less uh, taxing on our environment. So now that you have shared all this, right? I think our I think our viewers will be very curious to know how they can actually um maybe like tweak their diet to be more sustainable. So do you have any like eating habits to uh to be more sustainable their diet? I I I like I said uh, with my after three years of running a therapeutic restaurant, we see a lot of cancer patients. Um, changing their lifestyle, their habit, only when they're diagnosed with a problem. So the moment when they, they recover, they go back to their usual lifestyle. So back to all the meat and... Yes. And, and, and I think it goes from educational part to... And, and we try... I think, I think that there's no specific tips, but we are just trying to make my product as friendly, as easy to cook, as readily available, that you can embed or embrace it into your daily daily food. Uh, to make it so simple that there's no reason, no matter how lazy you are, it can still be part of your you know, daily staple product and to give it a boost to your immunity. And, and that's where we come from. Uh, so from what you shared, it means that also food products so easy to consume, meaning you can cook it. Like, even if I can't cook, I can cook it. Again, you don't need to be a chef to consume or something. So, uh, personally, I'm not a vegan. <laughs> but for me, um, what I think that uh, that really helps me to be more sustainable in my eating habits include um, first one, the most easy one, avoid overbuying. So, our viewers out there, let's not overbuy any grocery or let's not even over order food. So, we should always consume the amount that we need and not over consume. And also, um, like, um, for for um, eating wise, I think that uh, it's good um, to actually try a wider variety of vegetables and fruits. So like what Jason shared, um, this food gives us the, the nutrients we need to be healthy. So I think that uh, for, for generally anybody, we should try to consume more vegetables and fruits and replace them with uh replace our meat with them. And also um I think that uh, for me I started like trying to start by going meat free once a week. So I thought that that is um, one of the small ways for me to get started on my sustainability journey. So I hope that these tips will help our viewers out there to get started on their sustainability journey as well. Okay. So, okay. I, I agree with you. I think uh, I think when we're talking about starting, I think everybody should take a small step. Um, I think I've seen a lot of my religion friends doing the uh, veganism in, on the Sui Zoo, you know? <laughs> Like the, and there's Green Monday. There are many, there are many, many movements. They are trying to uh, promote such first step movement. Right? So I think, uh, and and I think there are some stats out there that shows that for every one meal that we choose to go on uh, vegan, there's how much impact on the carbon footprint. So I think, uh, I think if every one of us were to take a small little step, I'm very sure it has a very, very huge impact on our planet. And like, like I also mentioned to a lot of our, our customers, if everyone were to consume 10% less fish, like I said, I'm not against any person to consume fish, huh? uh, but if they do consume 10% less, that buys the whole entire marine for another 30 years. You know, 30 years is a wonderful thing for the marine eco, and, and I think that's something that you really have to bear in mind and not hope that all your friends are doing it and not you. Mm-hmm. If they take that positive movement, I think that will help our planet. Okay. Okay. I definitely agree with what you say. So, um, yeah, I agree that it's a small action. So, we start by going small. So, it's like one step at a time and slowly build up um, like 
play our journey from there and do our part for them. So Jason, after you have shared so much with our viewers, I'm sure all of us learn a lot more about how a plant-based diet is beneficial for both our health and our movement. So, um, curious, will we be able to try out the awesome food today and maybe show us some cooking tips and share with our audience what we can do at home to improve, I mean, to do their part for the environment and improve their health? Of course. Uh, I think you have you can try our food later. <laughs> the audience probably have to uh, buy our food. <laughs> And then uh, we will we'll be doing a demonstration, of course, a cooking demonstration, to show you how easy, how you don't need to be a chef, how you can really uh, deal with wholesome food. Right? And, and that's how later we'll do the step by step cooking demonstration, not really even a cooking because our, yeah, our so food easy. is already cooked, okay. right? It's really packed with nutrients and you just have to warm it up. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'm to you. Maybe we start off by showing a little bit of our product. Okay, we have our... Maybe you can bring it closer. Yeah, so yes. Yeah, okay. So we have our fish cakes and our fish balls. Right, they are all... Most important you need to know is like we are 100% natural, preservative-free, no artificial uh, additives. We, we work on contamination-free. We are probably the first nutritional focused product in the market that is friendly to all patients, especially diabetic patients, right? Which what uh, it's a growing concern in Singapore. I see. So what will we be cooking today or like what will we share? Well, we, we will be sharing two, two uh, simple dishes. Oh, uh, why? So, uh, we will start with a simple salad ah. for any individual, uh, any individual who uh, will uh, Toss together a very simple little. We'll do a step by step to tell you that you know you don't you really don't need to be a genius to to, to cook our food or to create a prepare a salad. Of course, for those people who liked it a little bit uh, warm, we also show you a technique uh, and share with you our specific immunity recipe. We are strong in immunity, so how we can boost the immunity a little bit further by introducing later in terms of ingredient. Uh, how it can help you boost your daily in view of COVID. Okay. So I see that both dishes are very easy to prepare. Right? Very easy. So it's like perfect for the every Singaporean busy lifestyle. Trust me, there, there are many ways to 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 play with our fish balls, uh, but there are just two methods that we're showing with you. Absolutely easy. Uh, we are happy to uh, take on any of your questions if you want to ask us. How, what are the things you need to do with it? But no matter what you do, I have only one very important uh, advice to you. Because our fish ball are packed with nutrients, do not heat it beyond 46 degrees Celsius. So why, why is that so? Because the nutrients are, are not good friends with heat. Uh, so when, when you heat it, yes, our nutrients start to lose it. Uh, I don't. I, I cannot tell you how much you will lose, but generally. We want to protect the nutrients, that's why we are taking our product. So, whatever methods you do, do not heat it beyond 46. Uh, and if you need, you can blanch it, you can sear it, mm. uh, just just uh, okay. toast it uh, with some of your sauce, favorite sauce, it's good enough. Uh, shall we get started? Okay. So, yeah. so, so we, we go step by step and just share with you what is inside. Uh, okay, sure, sure. Yeah, if you, no, if you, okay. if you have the fish cake, right, this is what you do. Uh, this is our three piece fish cake, and then uh, we also uh, in our fish ball, they are all packed in such a way in in uh, four pieces. So this is one serving. Uh, oh, it depends on how much. It depends how much you want to take okay. it. So there are twenty balls into our packaging. Uh, four, uh, sorry, five the uh, packets. Mm. Uh, depend how much you want to use it. Mm. So just to share with you, we, we made it this way so that you don't waste. Um, you, you do it uh, on one yeah. So keep your keep our awesome fish product into the freezer, and then whatever assuming you want it boils, put some warm water. How do you know it's not warm, uh, warm enough? As long as your hand goes in, it doesn't burn you. Okay, you're safe with our product. Dip it inside. Okay. Right. If you need a fish cake, you know, cup, whatever you need. Also, we don't have to remove the packaging first. No, you do not. Right. You, you just you just pour it. This is our way of pouring it. If okay. you if you put uh, our fish cake and our fish ball, uh, 
uh, into a normal 45 degrees Celsius uh, kind of warm water, it will probably take around 20 minutes. Maximum 30 minutes, you will go down to room temperature. Um, That's how easy it is. And for those people who doesn't like to cook, just purely on the basis that I want to boost my immunity, 30 minutes or 30 minutes later, take it out and you can eat it. It is for you to consume right away. <laughs> it's already pre-cooked, packed with nutrients. Okay. So of course, uh, in in view of time, we have already uh, taken some out. Okay, yes. that's hot already. Um, so maybe uh, I will start off by uh, salad. The salad. Okay, sure. Salad. So we show you. Uh, yeah. Yes. How do we do that? Okay. Very simple. No brainer. Okay. Um, for whoever that like whatever kind of salad. Okay. Just make for mixed salad. Get it anywhere in cold storage. Uh, NTUC, Sheng Shong, whatever. Right. This is your salad. No. So basically any vegetables that I like. Any vegetables, okay, uh, that you like, okay. Uh, you want uh, for those people who doesn't know much, then just take a mixed salad, right? It's pretty cheap. And then over here, uh, we have shown you this way of doing uh, what we call a lemon uh, cilantro uh, vinaigrette uh, sauce. So what does it make up of? Uh, our olive oil, pepper. Mm -hmm. Olive oil, yep. Olive oil, pepper, cilantro, which is uh, they call it parsley mm -hmm. in Chinese. Uh, this is our uh, lemon, and this is our pink Himalayan salt. Ah, right. Okay. So if you understand that actually, all this for, for viewers who doesn't know much about nutrition, I just want to share all these ingredients we use are specifically meant for your immunity, right? All these ingredients here are anti-inflammatory, they are for anti-aging, and that's why they are full of antioxidants, right? Uh, not so much for pink helmet salt, they are just have a little bit more of uh, uh, minerals, that's all, right? Generally, all this, uh, I mean, all the, all the dishes we are preparing here is really to show how simple you can boost your immunity, right? So, at the same time, not only you boost your immunity, you actually make yourself uh, a little bit more beautiful by uh, having all these anti-aging uh, <laughs> ingredients uh, and really helpful. So, um, is there any specific amount we should use for the sauce? Okay, so generally, uh, this is uh, very individual. Uh, I'm just giving you some numbers. Uh, <clears throat> this is a 200 grams of uh, salad, okay. uh, which is a usual packet that you probably get it from any supermarket. Mm, okay. So uh, some people like it less saucier, some people like it saucier. That's really no straight rule. So it's up to my palate. Up to your palate. Uh, but we, in this case, we have prepared a standard which is approximately 75 grams of uh, our, our vinaigrette here, our lemon uh, chilento vinaigrette. Okay. So of course, uh, you use your olive oil, 75 grams, a pinch of uh, uh, your black pepper, and then with uh, lemon, you probably will also take around uh, uh, no, it's a little bit more. You can put around 40 grams as okay, well. Okay. Sorry, I think parsley is a little bit low. I think it should be around uh, 8 to 10 gram, I think. Right. And and, and for the Himalayan salt, it's just really a pinch, maybe 0.5 grams. That's it. Right. You put it into a blender, you blend it. That's how you get your sauce. Oh, so can blend this together. Yeah, you just put them into a blender, and you just and, and that's how you get the lemon uh, cilantro. Uh, if I don't sauce. have a blender, can I just mix it together? I think it's you you can. The only problem is because this parsley, uh, oh. you got you cannot you cannot uh, blend it as as what you want. Ah, okay, nice. Now again, for 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 customers that doesn't really cannot even you know there there are all those readily uh, sauces out there, right? Yeah. You can buy those sauces as well. It's just for illustration, I'm showing you what we use from a very healthy perspective and to boost your immunity. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have chosen this formulation for you all. Okay. Right. So how do we start? So, so very simple. Uh, like I said, you have a mixing bowl. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, put your put your sorry. Contamination is a bit issue. <laughs> so we have to put on some. Food. Yes. Hygiene first. <laughs> Hygiene first, right? Yes. So like I said, uh, the salad, you can pick any sort of uh, vegetables you like. Uh, some people like more raw care. You know, really, it's really up to you. Uh, 
and, and for those people who likes it, uh, we, you can actually add some activated nuts. Oh, yeah. Yes. That sounds uh, very nice. Yes. Uh, somehow forgot to prepare. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. So, uh, you can add some walnuts, uh, uh, cashew nuts to go along with it. Okay, so place your vegetables okay. into your mixing bowl. So, we'll place your vegetables inside the bowl first. Yes, exactly. It's very easy. Uh, you don't really need to know, you will realize that you really don't need to know how to cook. <laughs> you just add your sauce in. That's exactly what you need to do. Okay. Um, put in your nuts, activated nuts. Um, unfortunately, today I, I missed out to, to show how you can add the nuts in. But in short, what you can do is uh, soak, your, soak your almond or whatever nuts 24 hours. Dehydrate them for 48 hours. It increases up your bioavailability of the nutrients of your nuts and then toss them inside into your salad together with this and uh, let's assume you put two of our fish balls uh, which is 40 grams and then you put another uh, 80 grams of our, our fish cake mm -hmm. that's almost com coming to 120 grams 120 grams of your our product which is enough for your daily immunity, right? Really, no, any, any, your, your kids can do this, you know, just look at it, how you just fold them and mix it. That's it. Just like how you play with <laughs> sand, I don't know. Yeah, it's very, uh, <laughs> it's a very easy dish to prepare. Right. As you can see over it's here. a no-brainer. That's it. And and after you toast it, and when the uh, it gets uh, evenly distributed, that's it. This dish is done. All right. Cook your bowl. Okay. That's it. Voila. Wow, that took like less than five minutes. <laughs> exactly. You really, really don't need too long a time. The you tore our product for 20 minutes, all right? And this is where and you mix them together, it takes less than five minutes. That's your immunity meal for the day. Mm, okay. okay. It's good. So what about the mm -hmm. second dish? The second dish, uh for those people who like to cook, of course, uh, we can show them some other ways. Um like I said, flavors are are very individual. Sorry, flavors are very individual. Uh, <clears throat> you can add more salt, or you can add uh, any any sauce that you want. Now, of course, today we are showing to uh, customers that who are concerned, especially for immunity because of COVID. So, all these particular uh, ingredients uh, that we have chose, they are all specific for immunity, right? So over here, again, we use olive oil, olive oil high in antioxidant, right? Okay, garlic, for people who cannot take aliens, uh, then of course you, 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 you just leave that out. Uh, we have uh, ichina, ichin, uh, ichinasia, which is uh, western herbs, and we mix with uh, turmeric uh, powder. Uh, all these are high and extremely high in antioxidant. All right, these are all packed in our free gift that later we will give. They are all inside the package. So uh, they are just dehydrated. They are all locked in. And if you tear it open, this is what it will be like. Of course, uh, we don't provide the olive oil. Uh, I believe everybody has the olive yes, oil. Yes, we have them in our kitchen. <laughs> right. Um, and these are ginseng. These are some goji berries and uh, of course some uh, Chinese dates. Mm -hmm. This is meant for our soup. In this particular dish, uh, when you create, there will be two. You will have a soup and you will have a dish. So, uh, so once you open up this, you will have this. Uh, sorry, maybe you can take a look. This is our cordyceps flowers. There's also inside one of the packet inside. So what the first thing you do is you take it out, soak them into the hot water. Approximately maybe five to ten minutes. That's all you need. The important is for the cordyceps flowers to open up. Um, as you know, cordyceps flour is really, is called a super anti, anti-oxidant, anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, 
anti everything that you need, antibacterial. So it's one of the very uh, value for money ingredient that I would highly promote to all audience uh, to use whenever you can. And it has a very unique uh, taste, right? So once you soak it uh, for 15, 10 minutes, uh, 5 to 10 minutes, once it's softened up, then we are ready to prepare the, the immunity dish. Okay. Shall we get started? Yeah, so what's the first step? First, first, step, uh, first step is uh, we turn on the, the heating pan, get it, let it heat uh, so yeah. up. Right. It's very simple. Really uh, think of it, uh, don't think of it so hard. Uh, you, you, you can mess up a few, few steps, huh? but the taste is still going to be there. Do not worry. So for this way, um, like I said, as long as you do not destroy the nutrition for more than 46 degrees, you're fine. So after the pan gets its up, you put the olive oil, okay, you put the olive oil down. Okay. Olive oil first. Olive oil first. It's really very easy. Again, let the oil hit up a little bit. Okay. Okay. You put in in the pack that you had, okay, which is all our dehydrated garlic. Okay, put in the western herbs okay. and our turmeric. Okay. So is there any specific uh oh, the you should use? Sorry? Uh, no, it's all pre-packed into oh, the bag. Yeah. So so they, this is the, the thing that uh, we already prepared. Oh, just toss everything together. Oh, really, what is this? This is a Japanese yam. Sorry, I missed out this. It's also a very important uh, dish where we talk about uh, uh, immunity, uh, anti. These are all anti-inflammatory things. So once you see it get heats up a little bit, okay, very easy. Just put maybe close to... Uh, 70 to 80 grams of water, depending on how soupy you like it to be. Oh, it's not very good. Yeah. So, like I said, the, the way to cook, uh, uh, so-called to warm up our awesome food, is really put it last, because it cannot take too much heat, oh. right? So, once you put in all your equipment, let it boil. Once it goes to boil, uh, go down to a lower heat, Basically, um, not just awesome food, but any other food would need. Uh, I mean, we can't cook too long and too high heat, right? Yes. Uh, no, not for certain herbs. Herbs are not so regulated by heat. When we talk about macro, uh, which is fats, carbohydrates, uh, and protein, they don't denature so fast. So, so that's not really a big issue. But for things that we are talking about micronutrients, when you talk about vitamins, minerals, they're extremely sensitive to heat. So, of course, the best way is that you want to take a salad, that's how you do it. And then, if not, then uh, you probably want to be careful how you, you do it, right? So, again, like I said, let it warm up and let the smells comes up. And then I realize, okay, put on your, don't forget, the most important dish ingredient, which is... The cordyceps flowers? Cordyceps flowers, right? Right. Keep the water because later you're gonna use it. So you put in your ginseng and all your oil product. Top it up to uh, top it up another two hundred and fifty grams of water, hot water, and later it will be your soup. So how do you know whether it's ready? Okay, just wait for all the all your soup to to start slowly evaporate to make it a thicker sauce. Okay. Right, so just uh, depending to play with your heat. For for non good chef, maybe you keep your your temperature a little bit lower so that you, you won't be too fast. Huh? So if not, then you you you're not ready and then get things get bad. Huh? Mm -hmm. So it's very easy. You see, start the water start to evaporate and it thickens. So at this point of time, usually what we do is we off we off the power we put into your hot uh, fish ball give it give it a give it a good stir yeah put it with a good stir right um, like I said you don't want to ruin the the entire micronutrients 
or, or the or the immunity nutrition that you, you want for your for your for yourself, right? Mm -hmm. So and and seriously, that's it. And so ready to be served? it's ready to be served, exactly. So so really putting the awesome fish balls on the very last part, really just to heat it up a little bit because it's already taught to room temperature and just warm it up so that you know for Asian who like to eat it a little bit warm okay. and that's how you cook it or it could be as simply as you do a kung pao sauce just lay over it for people who who, who uh, are worried about this destroying the nutrition right so again the last bit is where if you are it depends on uh, how how Saltish you want it, of course you can put a big pinch of Himalayan salt, right, to go around it. But uh, it is really individual taste bud, right? So as long as uh, it's whatever you want, okay, you that's it. And, and that's why I'm trying to say that how simply an awesome fish balls can be done. And this, I assure you, but but do not please do not go to a COVID person. But uh, your immunity is definitely boosted. Mm -hmm. And that's how the dishes. That looks so yummy. Yes. Shall we try that out? Sure. <laughs> okay. So, you want to try it now? Sure. Mm -hmm. Go along with a little bit of uh, that, ah, okay. especially the, the concept flour. That's, uh, that's the most important like, pairing you want to do with. Okay, I'll try this. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's try this. It smells so good. So, for people who can smell it over the screen, it smells very good. The concept flower has a very strong uh, aroma uh, and a good taste. So, if you want to go with uh, our fish balls uh, uh, and, and that should blend. Of course, whatever I'm showing you is a little bit uh, lighter taste, and people who are heavy in taste bar should put a little bit of salt mm. to go with them. Mm. Again, it is very individual. I, I'm a very light salt person. I don't take salt much, so I don't put. Mm. Mm. Now, the fish ball taste is is quite interesting and nice. I mean, if you didn't tell me, I wouldn't have known this is a plant based um food. The, the the texture is very nice and um like you say, it's so easy to prepare. And I mean, for somebody who's not a vegan or vegetarian, this this. This will definitely work for me as well. Thank yeah, you. I mean, I see this working for my diet, and I mean, um, like like what you say, uh, we have a very busy lifestyle, so I mean, it's good and nice to actually try food like that. That um, I mean, I'll be very heartened to know that uh, by switching up my diet, like trying this kind of plant based food, I will not only um help in environmental protection in a way, reducing my carbon footprint, but also um uh, improving my health along the way. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So. This is, yeah, this is, I've learned so much from you today, Jason. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> thank you. So, um, um, yeah, this is very yummy. And, um, our fish ball is actually made uh, with a little bit different texture from uh, the fish cake. Mm -hmm. The fish cake has a little bit harder texture uh, for people who want a little bit uh, better texture, but fish ball remain softer in view of uh, our elder, elderly. And I also see, for the kids. So they are supposed to be a little bit softer so that you won't have a joking. Ah. But yet, uh, it can be served to a uh, family for, for all kind of uh, age to consume for the nutritional diet. Oh, yeah. so it's not just like a big environment, but it's also suitable for all ages. So, um, I mean, I've learned so much from you today. I, I you have really made me, you know, make all of us see that, you know, by making a small change in our diet, such as you know, going for a plant-based diet once a week, that kind of thing, I'm able to really start on my sustainability journey and also improve my health by getting all the nutrients I need. Yes. So thank you so much for joining us and uh, for our viewers out there. So to help you get started with your sustainability journey, um, yeah, there's actually an app. Um, we should... So to get started on your sustainability journey, you can download the Sunscreen app on your app store or um, it's available on both uh, iOS and, and uh, Google Play Store. So for the uh, this app, Sunscreen, oh my. So it should look something like this. So when you click in, this is the Sunscreen app. 
So Sasgain is a sustainability lifestyle app that rewards you with a uh, cashback for making sustainable choices. So um, you can just simply download this free app, register, and uh, choose a charity or cause that you would like to support. And through this app, you can participate in sustainable events and support a sustainable source to gain points. So how it works is that the more points you get gain, the higher your rewards and impact. So Sunsky has um, actually given our viewers today a special code. So the PIN code is uh, 8822 to claim your first 500 points to kickstart your sustainability journey. So what are you waiting for? Let's uh, go download the app and get started. And now, for the part that everybody is waiting for, the giveaway. So, um, Awesome Food, so over here, has actually uh, will be giving out one Awesome Wellness Box, right? So, one individual well Awesome Wellness Box and one family size uh, Awesome Wellness Box to uh, our viewers out there. So, to take part in this giveaway, simply like and share this episode, which we will be uploading on uh, our Instagram and Facebook channel later on, and comment on our giveaway poll, which we will be uploading as well. And follow Awesome Food, um, Sasgain, and SSGallery.sg on uh, our social media page to participate. So for more bite-sized uh, sustainability lifestyle content, uh, catch our next episode on this September, where we will show you, um, we will be bringing you through different sustainability topics. And head over to our Instagram and Facebook page at SSGallery.sg to learn more. Thank you for joining us today and thank you, Jason. One last thing. Ah, okay. Don't sure. forget to drink your soup. Oh, we forgot <laughs> about the soup. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Thank you. I forgot about the soup. <laughs> oh, it tastes. Yeah, it tastes quite nice, guys. Yeah. Tastes like a soup. Yeah, it tastes like a soup. Tastes like those uh, Asian Chinese soup that you drink. Yeah, and it's what we said. Yes, it's for immunity. Immunity and improves your health. And yeah, yeah. Hope the audience have a uh, very full of uh, immunity. Yeah. So thank you, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll thank see you. you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.